thank you lata mani a uh, very good evening uh, uh, distinguished uh, outgoing president ms bina shetty and the newly elected president ms debora lobo district officers of toastmasters members of winners club toastmasters from guest clubs ladies and gentlemen at the outset let me thank mr bora lobo for inviting me to share my thoughts on seeking happiness in this new normal to quote alan cohen be happy with what you have but be excited about what you want everybody is seeking different things some seek fame some love some health but i think in seeking different things ultimately everyone is searching for happiness we hear many a times people saying i will be happy if i find the love of my life i will be happy if i get a promotion i will be happy if i can get a car a new car i will be happy if i can go on a vacation if my sickness is healed the list goes on what does it mean to be happy the most elusive of questions which permeates much of our daily lives today people are studying happiness and there's a whole new science behind this happiness has different meanings we are happy when we have safety and security in life some of you will agree with me when we connect with others and feel a sense of belonging we feel happy in the deepest way maybe a few of you there will agree with me when there is a sense of purpose and meaning we feel happy in the middle of all this uncertainty of the pandemic can one really experience happiness yes of course instead of looking at happiness as a feeling state or just a sequence of pleasures if we begin to appreciate life count our blessings find meaning and purpose to our existence we can be happy i think the pandemic has given us enough time to think about name fame money achievement accomplishment from a different perspective how many of us here in this gathering still find happiness in the midst of this pandemic those of us who do find happiness are i bet have made a choice to be happy a choice to cultivate and develop a sense of well-being joy deep happiness and worth happy people know happiness is a choice we choose to focus our attention we choose to quieten our minds we choose to open our hearts reframing situations in a positive light and engaging in acts of kindness it is not a reaction to the present circumstances but it is a decision that we know is available at all times gratitude and appreciation are a deep dimension of happiness when we engage in acts of kindness like running errands for people in need or volunteering spending time with family and friends focusing on what we like making relationship enhancing attributions the brain and body produces chemicals like dopamine serotonin oxytocin which results in the overflow of love and a deep sense of well-being that is happiness 
happiness comes from connecting connecting to people i'm not talking about connecting to technology not substances it's connecting with people because human beings have a deep need to connect and it is as fundamental as eating did you know that more hugs equal more happiness though face to face connection and physical touch enhances happiness in the absence of touch because the current pandemic calls for physical distancing we can still stay connected we have no choice here but to use technology and i think this connection can enhance our sense of well-being Did you know that Denmark is consistently ranked as one of the happiest countries in the world? Despite the horrific weather, they enjoy a high level of well-being, happiness and quality of life. They are also the highest tax payers in the world. People do not evade taxes. Instead, they are aware of the welfare model and see their collective wealth being converted into well-being they see the tax as an investment in their society they would like to purchase quality of life and the welfare model adopted reduces the people's risk uncertainty and anxiety if people are looking for happiness in bigger houses nicer cars cooler technology etc they are always chasing the next purchase their next paycheck next relationship next physical enhancement next competition next job next person to solve their problems next escape and the next and the next they do not know that investing in the next to escape the present circumstances always ends and the happiness is fleeting happiness comes when we focus on meaning this is a byproduct of love that is eudaimonic happiness when you watch a sunset take a walk on the beach listen to your favorite song you feel happiness deep in your belly and it softens your heart a designer bag can never give this kind of happiness authentic happiness such as this is never lost because it is woven into the very essence of our being and we can always access it no matter what is going on around us you just have to conjure up images or remember the event moment and we can become alive with energy happiness is anyone anything that's loved by you loving and being loved is what happiness is let me share a story i once heard this will explain what happiness is at its core there was once a man named jim who constantly pray to god asking for a lot of things always wanting something more money true love big house big job etc i'm sure we can all relate to jim in some way one day while he was praying he heard a voice though frightened he mustered courage and asked who it was the voice said i'm god when he asked god why he was there god replied you've been praying for so many years asking me for a lot of things i have decided thing anything you wish so consider carefully what you want jim was thrilled but also nervous he did not know what to ask and shuddered at the thought of making an unwise choice so he consulted his friends one friend said ask for money another said no there are people who have lot of money but also the same amount of problems another said ask for long life 
Oh, then he said, no, you will outlive your friends and then you will be lonely. Nobody seemed to suggest anything right. Every suggestion had a downside. Six months later, God reminded him, it has been six months and you haven't asked anything. Jim said, God, may I ask you a question? Can you tell me what to wish for? God said, Jim, what you should ask for is to be content with whatever happens in your life. The bottom line is, if we celebrate If we have someone to love, something to do, and something to hope for, then you are happy. Thank you. Over to the MC.